Yo guys, welcome to another video. Today, I don't really know, I don't know how I've managed to end up doing this, but basically my mum's car has been my daily driver for the last, I'd say probably four months, five months, basically since that broke. And I know that runs again now, but I don't feel confident in the pretty bodged job we did to fix it. It needs a proper summer's day, like today, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way. And to get it really fixed up, I might even, if you remember my Irish friend Jack, I might actually book him a flight over to help fix this beast back up. It will never be my daily again. Obviously, now I have the dog, I need something that, like this, or that at least has a boot on it, because the dog is so big now, and he's all over the place, and it's dangerous having him in the driver's and passenger seat or whatever. It's super dangerous him being in the driver's seat, but yeah. So, there were some issues with this. It went in for a service today, and the wheel, like basically, it drives really funny, and the wheels are so badly corroded now. Um, I know on the inside it doesn't do anything, but all on the inside here, and on the inner lip, they're so badly corroded, they're, the wheels aren't holding air anymore. We need to get these refurbed. The only real quick, thing we I, I could think of was to come over here to the to the whistle wheels over here and chuck these on because I know they're the same stud pattern so they should fit but I think they're gonna look gash because of the tires because these are like they've got a little bit of stretch on them so uh, they're gonna look terrible but it will be a good replacement for a few days and it's another it's another excuse I guess for me to be able to plug the whistle wheels because we need to sell some um, as always so I hope you guys will like this little video I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to change the wheels over and see how the CRV looks on the Whistlers. So yeah, I guess I guess that's really it. <laughs> so I better get cracking. So yeah, cool. Hey Finn, do you want to say hello to the people? No? Also, while I've got you guys, I need to just explain over the next couple of... Oh, how dirty is that lens? Give me one second. Over the next couple of weeks, I think the videos are going to slow down a tad. I've got to move out of my house. I've got two days where I'm not even in the area next week, so I have to really get it done by next Monday night, really. So I'm going to do my absolute best to get out of the crib. I'm going to start packing tonight. So this is just a real quick thing. And then uh, I don't really know when the next proper vids are going to come about. I think we might be filming Sunday. But like I said, I can't, I can't put videos ahead of real life. So... Bear with us, please. Uh, actually, what I can do, though, is film another Q&A. If you want to chuck some comments down below, let me know what you want to ask. It can be realistically about anything. I uh, won't answer stupid ones or whatever. But, yeah, chuck some comments down below, and I'll do a quick Q&A video this week because I think I could probably make time for one of those. Alright dudes, we've got one side off, just about to do the other. This is really, really, really easy, simple stuff, so I can't even bother to record it. What's the point? But yeah, I'm I love this car so much. Man, it looks so rad, doesn't it? One day it'll get it running again, but I want the sump off of that and it is a huge job to change them from what I understand. So I don't know. I'm gonna not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kinda of feeling the stress of all these cars and all of the uh the stuff that actually needs still to be done on them. This CRV is actually, like I said, my mum's. I use it all the time. And when you consider how many cars I own, plus the Integra, and I don't even drive one of my own cars, it seems ridiculous to have all of these, like, project cars and not actually have any substance from any of them. I really want to start getting them done. This house move has kind of thrown a spanner into the works. I was never actually planning on moving, but... I I can't live there anymore. I, I, I just can't deal with the parking situation. It's just ridiculous. So I don't really know what we're going to do this yet. I know I've got the B18 and stuff, but oh, just so much money. Just thinking about how much money needs to be done. Uh, this one's definitely going to get done. This is my baby. This is my pride and joy, as you guys know. Yeah, my main goal is to get this one done. And is this on here? Who that? But yeah, it's not half. Um, but yeah, I, I need to give this back to my mum at some point. So I'll uh, 
have to get myself something and hopefully it'll be something nice because I'd like to buy a car that will last me a long time that doesn't need modifying and is still cool and fast. So yeah, I'll sort something, I'll sort something. Anyway, back to getting this shit done. Right, cool, so CRV's about to go there. The legend looks dump again, but it'll be fine. I'll get this done. Yo, one day we'll get you running again, baby girl. Well, legal for the road again. Right, guys, I forgot how small the tires were on this. <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it looks so shit. I don't have anything else to put on it, though. It's gonna have to do. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks, oh god, I can't even see what I think it looks like, oh jeez, oh my goodness me, fuck, <laughs> no, Monica, look how bad it looks, <laughs> oh shit, man, oh no, I don't, I don't know what to do dudes, <laughs> I don't want to waste my time putting all these other wheels on, but I know Dad wants to have them all refurbed. So, uh, I mean, look how, how, how bad it looks. <laughs> they must be 18s, the wheels that are on it already, surely. And they're not 17s. Yeah, they're 18s, and we replacing it with 17s on super shit skinny tyres. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think if it was like slammed and they were like the 18s that I've got for the Beamer, it'd look ridiculously cool. But obviously they need a different stud pattern. I've just been sat here browsing Instagram. <laughs> and uh, just because I was going to wait to see what Dad said, but I know exactly what he's going to say. He's going to be like, it doesn't matter what it looks like, does it? It's just got to be able to drive for the next few days and still be such a girl. So. I guess I'm putting these wheels on. <laughs> it looks so bad. Maybe I'll still just use the Fiat. I don't know, man. This <laughs> is so shit. <laughs> I just saw my mum, and she literally said, <laughs> My mum literally said, You can't drive around like that, it will ruin your reputation. So. I'm gonna take the fear again, and I mean that. I mean that sucks. I, oh, I really, really dislike the Fiat, but only because it's like one of those cars you just feel really lame driving. I guess like it's not a car guy car, is it? So I, I do think I'm gonna look. Well, I already am looking for new dailies, just so I've got my own car again. I go, I go so different. Like one day I want like a Toyota Hilux Surf, and then I read reviews, and then I'm like, oh, actually no, I don't want one of them. I want like. BMW estate like Dan. <laughs> you know, we've got to keep coughing each other, innit? Because the originality's dead. But I think they're great cars, so I just need something I can run around in and put him in and tow with. So I'll have a think. Finn's back, he had a run. Uh yeah, whatever. Let me crack on with this. This is so shit. Right, I've just spoke to Dad and he agrees it looks ridiculous and I don't particularly think it's going to be too safe either because the tyres are stretched, the car's really heavy. So, we're going to chuck the other wheel back on and just use it, even though it's pretty shit at the minute and it keeps going down. But, sorry this is kind of a wasted vlog and I'm sure there's going to be comments in the in the comments section. Oh, what, what was the point of this video? Well, I needed to explain to you guys there's not going to be many videos anyway over the next few weeks. Like I said, I need to move out of my house. Super busy with work, and yeah, like I said earlier, I will do a Q&A. They're super easy to film, so and edit. They take no time at all. So just drop me some comments down below that you'd like to know about. I'll uh, film and edit that later in the week. And like I said, if you haven't watched the drift video, even if drifting is not your thing, please check it out. You might really, really enjoy it, and it would mean a lot to me and also Nate who filmed it all for me. So. Please go check it out. It's not super long. It's not boring at all. I think you'll love it. Um, so from me, I'm now going to get the car back together and then I have to start packing my house. But I guess it's kind of cool because like I'm moving back here for a couple of months until my new house is ready. And then I will be able to be down the garage way more because we'll be way closer. And also my mum has agreed that she's going to look after the dog a couple of days a week. So I might actually be able to use my car uh, a couple more times or maybe... Maybe even get the motorbike running and go do some hoons. So yeah, cool. Anyway guys, uh, cheers for watching. Uh, sorry that it was a fail. I don't know what I should call the video. Failing to pimp my mum's whip. Anyway guys, uh, catch you again soon. Peace.